Well, a rise analyst Kayade Otitoju joins us now to discuss the military's revelation and why anybody would want to pressurize that national institution into undermining the electoral process. Many thanks for joining us today. Good day and welcome. Uh, let's start from the very top. Uh, you know, we're, we've been receiving a series of revelations through uh, press conferences and statements. My very first question is, why are these not being made as formal reports, uh, criminal dockets? Uh, because obviously trying to subvert an election is probably one of the most treasonous things you can do. Why do you feel the military is choosing this route as opposed to acting within the confines of the law to deal with the people who are attempting to steal the election from us? Well, I think the military must be careful because uh, between 1966 and 1999 was more or less the period of military rule in Nigeria. And uh, though there were some regimes that, you know, were benevolent in a way, but uh, the best of military is worse than the worst of you know, uh, democratic rule. Uh, luckily, I've lived for a long time to really, you know, compare and contrast. At 67 years of age, I've seen the military rule, I've seen the civilian, and the military must be careful. They must support all the efforts that the president and his team, you know, uh, are putting in place to have a credible and decisive election, not inconclusive election. And the, the military must be warned. You know, some of them were young when you know, some people plan coup, and the effect of coup planning is never, never kind to the family or the put coup planners. The coup planners, they know even from day one when they are joining the military, they know they could be killed any day. They have signed, you know, that the moment you join military. But when you die, your, 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 your family, they are the brown. And there is nothing like, oh, I'm close to Mr. President, or I'm close to the head of military. Once you're a good planner, the, 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 the material law is clear. It's dead. And nobody could be as close as classmates or military friends as Maman Vatsa and Ibrahim. Adamasi Babangida. Okay? When there was coup and Vasa was linked with the coup, it was executed, no matter how close. So young ones should be careful. We have so many military rules now in uh, Africa, in Mali, Niger, Koda, uh, what's the name of this? Uh, um, about four countries. But the people may clamor, oh, yes, uh, we have been liberated. Within two weeks or three months, they know and they come to realize that nothing as good as either democracy or the monarchy. monarchy. You know, I, I, I know you know there are three forms of, you know, uh, we have monarchy authoritarian, which is military, and democracy. The best of all seems to be, you know, democracy. Uh, though in African countries we, are, we have the monarchical, you know, uh, the, the rule seems to be stable, like Morocco, that the, the, the king sent, you know, an, uh, you know, an emissary to come and greet our president just about a week ago, you know, it's stable. And the economy of uh, Morocco is now comparing favorably with that of Dubai. 
to get to Morocco, you will be alarmed. You will be wondering whether this is one of African countries. So really, stability matters a lot. Without stable government, nothing works. Education can't work. A Greek can't work. Uh, tourism can't work. So the military must be careful and listen to the CDS, that's chief of defense staff. Listen to his admonition, listen, and they, they should even know that with the exception of the lopsided, lopsided uh, appointment at level, at high level, which will soon end the moment there is election, because even Siamese twins, eh, when they get to government, eh, the way they rule is never the same. Okay? So definitely we won't have the type of egocentric uh, eccentric, you know, uh, disposition in appointing or posting, you know, the military heads as we have it now. That could arouse or might have necessitated people thinking, you know, things will continue like that. No. Even during civilian, we've gotten a time when the civilian too, you know, were egocentric in their appointment and whatever. And during Jonathan, for instance, though Jonathan was liberal, but people are the shard, in charge of uh, 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 appointment, like the um, uh, uh, secretary to the government, okay? Or the deputy Senate president, the deputy speakers, all of them came from the same place. And the way they handled things in terms of appointment was worse than what we are having now under Buhari. So, but we didn't say because of that, sections that were not favored, you know, collaborating with military to topple. No. If you collaborate with, it's like you ride on a uh, lion's back, okay? The lion will end up, you know, finding you in its belly. So, civilians to walk, don't be too anxious. If you are a civilian, you are, if it's not your time, just know that your time will come. But right now, let all of us support what the government is doing to make this uh, election coming up in February and March next year possible. I'm sure we, you might not have enough time to do justice to this, but one thing that actually drew my attention and also caused concern, part of um, um, General, General Irabo's statement was when he talked about insurgency, where he mentioned that um, though some of the insurgents are being trained and would graduate in February before they'll be reintegrated into society. I find that troubling, considering that that's when elections are scheduled to take place. Do we know that these insurgents are, are receiving the kind of training that would make them um, safe to be around during that crucial time? What do you make of the timing of that? Where is the CDS, the Chief of Defense Staff, is in charge of Army, Navy, you know, Air Force, and the uh, water fuel. Huh? So, and you should know how to conduct intelligence and uh, nip things on the board. He has all that it takes to be at top of security in Nigeria. Though president is the commander in chief, but after president in terms of security is the CDS. That's uh, General Irabo. Yeah? He's the, he's, he's, so he, he knows how to get to the, the, the uh, um, uh, Department of uh, uh, State Security. He knows how to get to the Army. He knows how to get to the Navy or Air Force. And he knows how to get information, even from the grassroots of the Army, and nips any insurgents 
or any training that is not welcomed by Nigerians and nip it on the board. All right. Well, uh, I do hope that we'll have further opportunity to expand into this topic and several more, of course, as we continue to count down the days to election. Kayade Osisoji, thank you kindly for your time today.